In this video, we will create a virtual instrument for Halion 6, Steinberg Halion 6. Maybe a little bit in background, you can hear a noise from uh, another room. There is some noise that I cannot disconnect right now, so let us just ignore that noise. I have my own samples, so I am going to open folder where I have my own samples. Actually, I sampled French accordion from SD9 Ketron. So I'll go to Studio folder and then Sampling folder and then find that French accordion you set, SD90, and there we can see samples that I have. I have everything in two layer from node C2 to node C6, every key. Now I will open Halion 6 from Steinberg. It is professional version. You can create a virtual instrument in professional version of Halion 6. So you have in Cubase Halion 6, but it is Halion 6 SE in professional version of the Cubase. This is separate. This is full application. I bought pro version of Halion 6. Now I want to create VST, virtual instrument. What I'm going to do here, I am when I open that uh, Halion 6, I'm going to go to edit and now to mapping. Now in this mapping, I'm going to drop my samples. Click on first sample, hold shift and go to the last sample is there and then grab first sample. Before I do this, uh, this is very hard to see what is happening here, so I will increase that to see where is node C2. Oh, it's here. And now I will move this. Now I can see from the beginning of this is C2. It's very, very hard to see that. Now I am going to click here, take first note, drag it here on C2. Up, a little bit up, a little bit up, and now, yeah, it's there, and release. Now I have first layer that goes from 0 to 50. Now I will click somewhere here beside, then on first note, any key, any of those key, then uh, I will get here information for uh, velocity for that layer. Velocity is 0 to 127. And now I will click here in empty space and highlight everything. And now I will just change this number from 0 to 50. And enter. Actually, I have to do it here. 50 and enter. Because this part doesn't work presently, I have to connect. Let me click here make sure that connecting connection is established maybe battery is anyway i will keep working with this this side of the keyboard now i have first layer still i'm not able to hear any sound because i just have layer and i'm ready to drop another layer then i will show you what you have to do if you want to hear the sound of the sample now click on the first note of the second layer and last note grab first note bring it here drop and now click beside then highlight that upper layer okay first on one note of up layer click on that note just to isolate that layer and now highlight those notes in that layer and now velocity is going to be from 51 to 127. So we have two layers. First layer is from 0 to 50, second from 51 from to 127. Now I'm going to create instrument. I want to, from this point, I want to be able to listen to that instrument when I play. I want to know what is going on, what is happening here. Now let me go here and press save program and now in author I'm going to put Tihomir 
my name and then in family again Tihomir I am choose choosing Tihomir and then uh, category is going to be accordion and then subcategory is going to be again accordion and then rating is going to be five star five star you can put any rating now I'll put name for that accordion here preset name and it's going to be French you set as the 90 TM Tihomir Minsk now when I press OK hit OK and it is asking me to overwrite because I have already that accordion now I'm cre creating that accordion again I'll say yes overwrite and now listen now when we have that everything here it will appear here on the first new program it will say French accordion music now click here to load it here and now when you lo uh, load it here now you can see you can see picture of the key but if you want to see picture of accordion you will be able because I already put that in group of accordion but now you have to press here and where accordions accordion then I have all of those accordions here now I'm going to choose rating and there is accordion French music it will show right away that accordion here click twice and now I got here accordion nice picture of accordion now I'm going to play this accordion okay um, my uh, controller is on MIDI channel number two but your controller is maybe on MIDI channel number one uh, it's usually my controller is because I'm going through Catron it's connected through Catron uh, upper two is on MIDI channel two now I'm going to just go here instead of A1 I'm going to choose A2 and now now I am going to save everything here again now I'm going to compare my accordion that I created to accordion original accordion from Steinberg French accordion Steinberg and my accordion is not so loud now and it is different in octava so uh, now I'm going to change that I'll go to edit to sound and first I will change octava but first before I want to change I have to select all so all those layers all those both layer with each sample there will be octava higher now I want to increase volume I will, I will put it to plus five just five decibel but still is not good if I compare it to original let me compare it with the original now, original French accordion and my French accordion depends of uh, volume of your samples how did you sample that so now I have to match this volume with volume that I want to have with all original instruments now I will close this keep it like that and now I will uh, here go to first what I want to do here if I go to zones no uh, recording that is my accordion edit okay now I, I want to focus to this part envelope selection but uh, I will press this look at there is some it's very hard to see things but look at there is about key there is one thing that you have to press now I want to get rid 
of all informations that are here. Look at if I press it, I will see all those functionality here in this place. But if I press here, then I will focus only to this part that I want to work on. And now I want to make sure that everything works works well. So I'm going here to choose my own settings, accordion to music setting for for all notes, uh, okay, did I choose all? Okay, I have to select all. I mean, that means all samples that I have inside of that instrument, all layers. And now I will, again, I'm, I will go here and press accordion. Now, every note has same, look at Now I have that feeling of accordion, same feeling that you can find in all uh, instruments that are made by uh, uh, Steinberg. I can change it, but we will do that in next video. I can explain you what you can do here. But many of you are familiar with this functionality because you can find it in any keyboard. Now I have that feeling under fingers. Now I have just to increase volume of accordion and give it some effects. Now I will go to, first I will save this. I like to save always every step. Now I will go to mixer. Now in mixer, there is uh, there are a couple of windows. Now one, two, three, four. I will choose function number four. Now I have exactly that program that I'm working on. That is that program, that is that program. So I am. I don't want to choose. I don't want to make general effect for whole uh, for uh, for maybe sixteen channel of instruments. I just want to focus on this instrument now that I'm making. I want to save everything together with this instrument, particular instrument. Now there is one arrow, small arrow. I will click it, and then there is option to put some uh, some. Uh, plugins, let us say plugins inside of this Steinberg, inside of this Halion, Halion plugins. I will click on none and then I will go here to first plugin that I'm going to choose is dynamics limiter. I'm working on level and uh, I know all, all my samples that I'm doing here. You can explore uh, now input, but I know it is going to be around 10 decibel. So I'm going to put 10 decibel and now that is same level that I have with another accordion. I did save it now and next step I am going to maybe skip next one, uh, leave that space if I want to later add some EQ or something but I'm not going to do that anything here. I know for sure that I need just effect because I don't want to do EQ or other stuff here. I or I would rather uh, do that in uh, Cubase. I will use other plugins that I have in Cubase. But you can do that here as well if you want to use this standalone version of uh, Halion. Now I'm going to choose some delay, multi-delay. In this multi-delay, I will leave it like this. Anyways, synchro is engaged. Whatever is tempo of the song, it will be tempo of delay. Now, uh, feedback, I'm going to put it around number nine. Just have one. It is more than one repeat, but if I put this mix to five, or six. You can hear still uh, more than one repeat, but now what I'm going, this is going to be uh, enough. I know that because from experience, now I will go to third effect and just put this delay inside the reverb and then I will hear just one repeat. Now reverb and I have reverb See, you cannot hear delay at all.
And now what I'm going to do is too much reverb. I'm just going to mix it, leave it down maybe to 23%. And now I will keep it like that. Uh, I want to get inspiration when I, uh, from th those effects when I am performing something, when I'm making music inside of a, a song that I'm making song, then if I choose that instrument, I just want to get some effect that will give me inspiration to work on that melody that I'm creating. But later I can get rid of those effects and I can choose plugins instead of those effects. They, they are not going to be recorded. It's just something that will help me to give me inspiration if, when I am creating song. Now I will save this. And now, whenever I need those effects, I can control them on two way. One way, I can just come always here and turn them off by, just a moment, okay. By pressing this see and I don't need to save if I'm working in the song after when I finish uh, uh, making melody making a melody after that I can just dis can disconnect them here and save it with song and they will be disconnected for that song only for that song not if I am choosing uh, again a halion and this accordion in another song or another track it will not be uh, muted but now I can do like this and again I can create a song or what I can do uh, in the beginning of this uh, list of uh, um, things that are happening in that track I can just create a message for effect and I can put it down or I can control it here with a uh, novation controller if I assign any of those potentiometer I can assign any control and I can save that control parameter here in Novation and then I can control it at any of those potentiometers from Novation so I can control effects. Now I did everything actually. Now we will go here, load. Now I have my accordion French Musette and I have French accordion factory accordion created by Stenberg. Let us compare them now. That is French accordion from Stenberg. And that is my French accordion. And that's it for this video. Now you saw how I can create virtual instruments from samples that I took from Catron SD90. It is French accordion from Catron SD90. Catron SD90 has really extremely good sounding instruments and look you, you can hear that uh, that French accordion to me that is the best French accordion from all arranger keyboards and not only French uh, Musette it is as well another Musette and uh, many other instruments from That is my French accordion, and that is to me this French accordion that I made has m better sound, warm, rounded sound, and it sounds really nice in music that I play uh, many songs. I like this kind of accordion and this accordion from uh, Steinberg it sounds like a virtual instrument but this one that I created to me it sounds like real accordion like real recorded accordion in audio format so that is my opinion, but you can put your opinion down. And uh, that's it about today. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in my next video. And please sign in.